Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about more iOS 16 features. Now this is an amazing update. It's just beta one and it has a ton of features. There are probably at least 300 new features and changes on iOS 16 and most of them are actually hidden and of course it will take a while to discover all of them. So in this video I will show you guys 16 more secret features of iOS 16. Now another secret that you should know right now is that subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on this video helps out a lot so make sure you do so it's really really helpful and will help the channel and the video do much much better. All right, we're starting things off with Safari. Head on to Safari and whenever you go to search something on a page, so you will have find on page here when I search for a specific word or something on a web page. Now you will have the option here to tap on that icon and you will have now two different options. You will have here all words or match case. So you can choose whichever one you want, of course, depending on what you wanna do and what you wanna find. Now this is super useful. Whenever you have a link copied on your clipboard, let's say you copy a link anywhere and you just want to open it on Safari, you don't have to even open the app. All you have to do is go to the spotlight search and you will have the option here to quickly open the link directly from here simply by tapping on it or of course you can just 3D touch there if you want to see a preview of the link that you have currently copied on your clipboard. Now you know the new feature of iOS 16 that lets you just remove the background on different pictures. You can do that on the photos app of course on the files app as well and it works the same so you tap open just tap and hold the subject of the video and of course you can remove the background from that but a more easier way to do it on the files app is simply by 3d touching on the photos tap on quick actions and just tap on remove background and it will automatically save the picture without a background that's super useful and of course much much easier to do and have a new file saved automatically Another thing you can do now on the files app is that you can actually create a new folder quickly for a file that you want. So let's say I want to just create a new folder and put that file on that folder. I don't have to do a lot of actions. All I have to do is just switch the touch on that file. And you can see right here, new folder with items. So it creates a new folder just like that containing that item so it automatically will create the new folder and also place that file into that folder now of course we have now some really great new features for contacts on the contacts and the phone app one thing that you can do now is export all of your contacts or just the contacts that you have on any of your lists so here all iphone you can see all my contacts i can of course email all of them that's a new feature, but I can also go ahead and export all of my contacts from here. So of course I can save them to files or just share them anywhere I want. This right here is super useful as well. You have a few contacts on a list, you want to move them to another list. I can go here and let's say I want to get a couple of these contacts and move them to another list. Here's how easy it works. Just drag one of your contacts just like this and then you can even tap just like this to collect all the contacts just like you do with icons and go back and release it at any other list that you want and just like that you can move contacts between your lists. As you probably have seen there is a new feature on iOS 16 that will let you mail all of the contacts on the contact list. You can do that of course simply by tapping here, we'll have an email button. But you can also do that straight from the list here, just three to touch on the list and of course just tap on email all. Another super useful feature is the ability to send all of them messages as well. So if you just go to one of your contacts list, you will see here, there's just a button for email, but if you just 3D touch on that list, you will be able to send a message to all of them at the same time. So this is super useful. Of course, you will always have different lists for different contacts, maybe your friends, your family. So whenever you just wanna send a message to all of them, just 3D touch on the list and you're good to go. Moving on to what's the biggest feature of iOS 16, of course, the new lock screen. Now, there is of course some kind of confusion when it comes to changing wallpapers on iOS 16. So if you create a lock screen, you don't have to actually create a new one every time you wanna create 
basically add a new wallpaper to your lock screen. So right here, I have this wallpaper with this lock screen. Of course, this is a picture from the photo gallery. Now, what you have to do is not go ahead and tap here to create, to add a new wallpaper, but you can use your current one. Simply tap on customize and here we'll have the option to tap to go to the photos library and pick any wallpaper that you want. And while we're on the lock screen, just look at this right here. This is probably one of the coolest things Apple has done in years. This lock screen is actually amazing. You can see the depth effect right there. And this is just a wallpaper that I have downloaded from an app. It's not a wallpaper that comes in pre-installed with iOS 16. So I see a lot of apps coming out on the App Store with wallpapers that have this depth effect and they just have an amazing look on the lock screen of iOS 16. So you can find different wallpapers. If you go to Wallpaper Central, they have this effect. And of course they look really, really great on iOS 16. So this is an amazing feature. So the depth effect not only works with stock iOS 16 wallpapers, it will work with third party wallpapers as well. Now on the home screen of your iOS 16 device, you probably have noticed that we have a new search button. So you tap right there, it opens the spotlight search. Now there used to be the home screen dots and of course used to just screw, just move around on the home, home screen simply by swiping like this. That still works actually. So don't tap on it, just swipe like this and it still has that function. So it will have basically two different functions. You can tap to go to search, or you can swipe here to move between different pages. Whenever you're editing photos on iOS 16, tap the edit button and you will have, of course, all the different tools right here to actually just go ahead and edit any of your photos. You can, of course, move around here, but now you will have an undo and redo button right there. So any effect that you add to the photo, you can switch back or you can go forwards. Let's stay here on the Photos app for a bit more. We have this new feature when you enable live text. So if I tap the live text button, you can see it will show me these new buttons at the bottom. So if you have like a date that it has scanned and recognized on a picture, you can tap on that date to quickly add it to an event on the calendar. Really useful. And of course, if it has more things like maybe something that it can convert or time or something like that, you can tap on more to see everything that it has found. And now we have three different features which basically all do the same thing. They convert, but in three different scenarios. Now, right here, we are on a picture. What we can do is of course, just enable live text. And if I tap on more, you can see it will find here, you can see the weather forecast and we can go ahead and convert Celsius, convert Fahrenheit, or convert degrees right there. So you tap on it, you can see it will convert it and you can just tap on one of them to actually copy it. That's super useful. So whether that's on a picture or anywhere else, it will convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and things like that. What's really cool is the ability to convert time zones as well. So if you get a message, we can see right here, 5 p.m. Pacific time, I can tap on it and you can see it will actually convert it to the local time of the device. So it says New York, you can see June 19th, 2022, 20. You can see how cool that is. It just converts it for you right there. And if you want to copy it, you can just tap right there and you have that copied on your device. What's really cool on iOS 16 is that it can actually also convert things when you select them. So right here, we can see we have 55 kilograms. I can go ahead and select that and just swipe right here. You can see we have all the conversions that we need right here on the list. That's super, super useful. This conversion feature of iOS being able to convert currencies like weight, size, and of course, time and all that is actually super, super useful and most likely will be even better with the next releases of iOS 16. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some of the secret features of iOS 16 that you probably didn't know about. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.